yor sen borom jessna pire soko bëgge fi ci bir gambia bi dawal fofu sa quality jessna your number one stop shop ana sama jigen ñi dama bëgg ngeen jox ma sen nopp garmi ndax te quality jessna amal nen len ay til yu toj dala pose abaya yu yiw white amal nen len ay boreda yu rafet boreda yo xamne pour gor ñi ra ak pour jigen ñi amal nen len body scrub yi nga xamne ni da fay defar sen yaram bam nice white faté wuñ fa diwi ana sama djék yu paré quality jessna amal nen len fa andi ci ray ci ray yu neex house spray ak bép xétu bax bax pour sen bir nek dama né atum brand ji ou sa djéker méré ku né yow la neex ndax té quality jessna ñew na ci dëkk bi pour défar sey yi makeup artist yi bayyi ñen gannaaw ñu ngi len fa amal ay makeup product yu quality waxu len légui ni fofu sa westfield jakarlok monument bi wala nga joko quality jessna ci 250124 ak quality jessna taral sa bop taral sa nek white degal sa alaji as Are <laughs> But she's here to talk about autism. And um, how many of you know about autism, by the way? Let me see some hands up. One, two, three, just four of you. Nine. How many of you know about autism? One, two. You're not fine. Let me see your hand if you know a little bit about autism. All right. I'm going to bring the mic to some of you. You're going to tell me a little bit about us is. Excuse. Ma'am, ma'am, give me a minute. This lady here knows a little bit about autism. And she's 
gonna open the floor for us. Ma'am, what's your name? Yinka. This is Yinka. Just tell us a little bit about autism. Do you know someone with autism? My son. Wow. How close can that be? Her son is diagnosed with autism. Bless your heart. Can you just tell us, we have a speaker who come all the way from down there to talk a little bit about autism. But before we give her the mic, we'll give you the opportunity to share your story a little bit. Because this will make people listen. Because it's important for us as a society to listen. Can you hear me okay? You can't hear me. They're busy with food. Can you hear me? Oh, you can't hear me. I can hear you. Thank you. Thank you. Please tell us, share your story with us. So my story goes back um, 12 years ago. Um, my son wasn't talking. He was just keeping to himself and he was doing his Lego designs that was incredible for a little two and a half year old to do. So I went to the doctor for his two year visit and she asked me questions. Right. Does he talk? Does he do this? Does he do that? And I said, he doesn't do any of those. And he's my firstborn. So I didn't know what a two year old should be doing. Um, a two year old is supposed to talk, play and socialize. And so she um, told me to go to Seattle's Children Autism Center and have him tested. And so I, we were on the waiting list for about a year. And when the test came in, it was diagnosed that he had autism. And so we started the early intervention programs. Um, right now he's 15 years old. Um, he's doing so well. He doesn't socialize as much as his age group, but he's doing so much better. This brought us to the city of Shoreline where they have the best programs for autistic kids. And he has done really well with the programs. And now he's in high school. Um, he's doing wonderfully well. He plays soccer. Um, he's trying so hard to, you know, be part. It's really challenging for them. Really, really challenging. He's there on the soccer field. The boy in the brown. Right. And the jeans. My boy. Yeah. Shia. Shia, where's Shia? So, it is um, a blessing and a curse um, because they do some things really exceptionally well and some things they just don't get it. And you have to be really patient, you have to be enduring and just understand that they may never do what other kids do, but with love, with care, you know, it helps them. Putting them on the early intervention, constant therapies, um, just, you know, letting them be part of the society helps a lot. Thank you. So that's, that's been my journey. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that story. And like you rightly said, patient is what they need most. And um, God bless your heart and bless your son too. But um, I'm about to pass the mic to our honorable guest to talk a little bit about autism. Please, we need your attention. We need to, to hear this. Okay? Madam, can you please start by saying, this is the mic. <laughs> right here. I guess right here is a good spot. All right. Let me see if everybody is with us right now. Is everybody with us right now? I need more energy than that. Is everybody with us right now? Thank you, you lovely kids. These kids are lovely. Hey, uh,
all of you part of this, you're part of me and that you were selling as well. Uh, uh, my name is Shema Farag. I'm a published author and I'm a Muslim trained author through uh, Islamic Network Group. Uh, I'm not here as an Islamic speaker or a Muslim speaker. I'm here as a parent and as a mom of a son as, uh, of autism, but I have an, another different type of story. Uh, so here it goes. So, alphabetical letters. Months. He was able to do a hundred piece puzzle when he was three. He knows three languages. And I have another son who is neurotypical, and you don't say normal people, you say neurotypical like us. Uh, another or the other older son didn't show these kind of behaviors. So I learned that he needs help and he needs support and we took him to do some uh, therapies and sessions because it was obvious that he needs help and those people who helped me through the journey uh, through the therapy or through the the work they have been doing in the sessions they were really helpful but oh my god they were evil <laughs> when i tried to go out in my way out there is this room full of toys, full of amazing toys and my son would show, give me a hard time to get out. I, I would, he would freeze on the floor and I would like an, a very apologetic prayer and I would apologize to everyone, so sorry, not trying to show what happened and apologize from the police and from the people and ask everybody's forgiveness before I leave because my, my son was behaving so. And one of those times before, like, before I learned how to uh, have uh, some tools and uh, learn some tips to ha to help him out. Before I learned those tools, uh, I uh, one of those time I saw another guy. He was in maybe the beginning of his sixties or late fifties, and he was grabbing his fifteen-year-old teen at the very end of the of the of the of the of the tunnel or the, the, the area and I just look him in the eye and I felt like oh my god is this me looking at the mirror about 15 years later it was hard on me and I just didn't know what to think or what to do then um, I was inspired to go to the park with the kids and I was wishing that I would go there and I meet nobody that I already know because I was emotionally devastated. And oh my God, I went there at the park and everybody I know was there. <laughs> and then um, I wished, I, I just take a corner so nobody would see me and ask me what happened and then lecture me. And I, oh my God, I saw this religious lady, very religious lady who knew me and he would come and ask me and lecture me. And at this moment, and here's tip one, when someone in an emotional distress, you don't reach out with knowledge or lecture, you reach out with understanding. You reach out with love, unconditional love, not lectures. You need to have the emotional intelligence to know the right words at the right time. Do not reach with lectures. So the lady came to me and asked me what happened. I told her what, what I saw. Then she said, God says this and this and that. And with all due respect to what she says, I, I didn't feel any grudge against her, but I know she was trying to help, but she didn't know how. I was inspired to have the wisdom to know that she was trying to help, but she didn't know how. And then uh, a few, I just went my way and she went her way. And a few months later, I learned she was pregnant and she delivered a kid with all kind of delays. I learned that she try, she's trying to teach the kids to swallow the food. And then I went there to congratulate her because I know it's hard. So the first thing she told me when she saw me, she says one thing, I'm sorry. I really didn't mean to hurt you. Now I know how it feels and I, I, I wish I could have the knowledge to say the right words at the right moment. So if you don't have the right words, do not reach out to the person with the wrong attitude and lectures. If you don't know, don't talk. In my, uh, uh, in my tradition, faith tradition, uh, there is prophet companions and people who were close to the prophet 
who were very pleasant to have around. And the, the other companions and the prophets were competing who to serve them. Because in our faith tradition, we look at the people with calamities or differences in with a higher uh, with a higher uh, uh, with a higher perspective we look up of, up to them we look up to those people and we compete and serve them yeah. <laughs> uh, i'm glad to be with you here today thanks sister awa drami for inviting us today uh, my table has free art supplies whoever can do art Okay, then I owe you, I owe you for uh, ten dollars, and then another four water because this is dollar fifty cent, fifty cent. And they are fresh, twenty dollars. Thank you. Yeah, please, please, please. I'll, I'll blow to see you. Please, a round of applause, please. Yes, thank you very much for coming out and sharing your stories with us. And um, like I said, um, they need love and kindness, not bad lectures. Mr. Google. Yeah. Hold on. You know, it's a Gambian thing. Gambia reunion 2023. We have a whole lot of acting. You're not my sister? What are you then? I'm a girl. She's a girl, but she's not my sister. Wow. Are you my niece? Are you my friend? I'm a stranger. All right, you have something to say to us, please. And you have what again? No, you said your name is Fatima. I get that. I love Fatima. But what do you have for me? Me? You? We'll gladly take you. Thank you very much, Fatima. All right. You did it. Ben. Ya 
क्या मारा है ना गए अंदर Yeah, you're not fine.
Ah, suka isi service, isi service, isi service. Terlalu aja ibil lah kok. Hey, wonderful. Sudah jangan nyembar. Anak semua wala. Ah, mau ini. Hmm. Ya, marak nak kamu. Nero. Pulih angger resen bapa. Nak pulih angger resen bapa. Pulih angger resen bapa. Eh, pulul di pampala. Nero. Alim bara hade. Nero hade. Alim ter. Ah, bari ah, bari pun. Nah.
Get it, Jeff. Wow, knock Cool, man. <laughs> it was the same spot you were buru buru last year. You were buru buru. Buru buru me. Baba ja. Baba ja. Baba ja. You were scared to say his name. Okay, okay. Who buru buru me? Baba ja buru buru. Who buru buru you in the Gambia? Nobody. <laughs> you better keep that on camera. Let's talk about it. <laughs> you were buru buru here. <laughs> <laughs> the same for Lende. Are you talking? Are you guys? This guy's. Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> 
You say what? 18 goals. You scored 18 goals? Yeah. Wow. I only scored the bicycle. Oh, really? Yeah. Congratulations. That was a little you are the man.
Bentar. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Kaif haluk, alhamdulillah. <laughs> and right now we're just watching the game. Uh -huh. Which game are you watching? Who is playing? Uh, it's uh, Brikama West. I mean, sorry. Wait. Serkunda West. Serkunda West. And Brufu. Serkunda West and Brufu. Okay. You know, so yeah, they play right now, having a good game. Mm -hmm. What are the scores? Uh, two one. Two one. In whose favor? Um, I believe Serkunda West. No, Brufu is winning. Oh, Brufu, you lost. I know,
So definitely, free. huh? Free serve all immigrants. That's good. It's so good to know. I'll give your number to Manubia, yes. and they will be yes. happy to hear. Yes, we mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. and we look for. Can you 
Santa Ala, Manayu in Jolal <laughs> Nimfulol, <laughs>
Good to you, man. Jauh nak datang ala? Yang ni datang ala semua. Yang ni datang ala semua. Yes, I'll name Bara. Yeah, Mara, I'm not going to get there. You're okay. I'm not going to get there. Okay. 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 Ah, ini yang tuan dia. Mana sendal alam ni? Nak angkut si? Good to see you guys again, bro. Nak am? Good to see you man, ya. Dan saya bilang Fernando jangka. Ah? Bexo is extra crispy. Please, Bexo that's my ball. That's Yaros mom. That's the yeah, that's that's our ball. Pretty much, Bexo is extra crispy. Thank you. Thank you for. My boy, my boy. Mana tu malay bukan ikan anak? Ya. Kau makan kami mangi Amerika. Ah. Kau juga ni punya mangi angat terbeli. Ah. Aku ini lagi, nabi mohon ini lagi lah. Ini nales. Uncle. Kontran yang kisah leh. Kontran. Yang kontran. Seke tanya raya tu seke adu bari bari bari. Amin ya Rabbi. Dau amna juga raya amna di di jauh jauh mana kunci. Wai si doga labi Allah fa adu lima yuri dud. Red dah kunci. Masih jauh pangka bangkit. Kira do jauh mulai si jauh. Jep jauh kita kau tahu, wah kita red. Ah, ya lang jauh kita bayi. Yo boleh, so juga ada ni. Ya lang sukses di sini kau. Jadi, ya lang kita je ayat dua hari hari mereka juga. Yo kita wajib kau juga. Di jalan jepot TV, di jalan tapi wajib Gambia. Ya lang jamu kau Gambia. Di jalan presiden di Gambia, di jalan kau pun sejauh yang pun sejauh tahu di jalan jep. Kita jep jep. Ya lang jamu kau Gambia. Ya lang jamu kau Gambia. Jadi dia tak kiri, dia lagi jalan jalan jawa, dia jalan berdua sama sama lawa lewat sana. Jadi dia apa? Jadi dia apa? Jadi dia apa? Anti jadi dia dia apa? Dia marah, dia nak jauh ke?
السلام علیکم Quality 
dala pos abaya yu yu wait amal nen nen ay boreda yu rafet boreda yo xamne pour gor ñi ra ak pour jigen ñi amal nen nen body scrub yi nga xamne ni dafay defar sen yaram bam nice wait faté wuñ fa diwi ana sama jek yu paré quality jass na amal nen nen fa andi ci ray ci ray yu neex house spray ak bëpp xëtu bax bax pour sen bir neek dama né atum brand ji ou sa jëkër méré ku né yow la neex ndax té quality jass na ñew na ci dëkk bi pour défar sey yi makeup artist yi bayyi ñen gannaaw ñu ngi leen fa amal ay makeup product yu quality waxu leen légui ni fofu sa westfield jakarlok monument bi wala nga joko quality jass na ci 250 ak quality jass na taral sa bop taral sa neek white degal sa alaji ass